hi guys welcome back to the african print diy channel i hope you are all keeping yourself safe so today i'm going to share with you guys how i made this poncho cape and it is lined so i'm going to show you how i made that now so i started off with a one meter by one meter fabric and then i folded it two times then I pinned it down so that the edges don't move and then I went on to the corner and then I started to mark just like that until I got to the other edge and then I drew my curved line with my chalk then I just used my scissors to cut that corner away Then after that, I pulled up one of the edges just like that and I left a space of about 6 inches. I made the other side longer by 6 inches because I wanted to have a deep hem. Then I just went on to the corner like that and then I marked it. Then I went on to that part which I had marked so I drew a line of 3 inches and then so for the front which is the shorter side I marked about 5 inches but you can definitely make this 4 inches and then at the back I marked 3 inches then I now used my curve ruler to draw that neckline. Then I cut it away with the scissors. And then I went to the back which was the longer side. And then I just took a scissors and then I just cut straight across. So this is going to be the back of the poncho or the cape. Then I now took my lining fabric and then I laid it flat on the floor and then I took my fabric then I made sure that the right side was now facing inside and then I laid it on top of the lining fabric and then I pinned it down on all the edges. Then I cut it away just like that. Then I now went on to sew this on the sewing machine on those parts that I've indicated with the red marker and I left that space open. So then I just went on to sew that on the sewing machine. I sewed all the edges. So that is the space that I left for turning it inside out.
then I turned the cape inside out. Then I now just went on to press the edges using an iron to make sure everything is nice and flat. Then I also folded in the raw edges of the space that I used to turn inside out and then I ironed it. Before I went on to pin it and then I just sewed it now on the sewing machine and closed the. So now most of the work was already done and then I went on to the back and I used these press studs. I put on about four. If I had more I would have put it all the way to the bottom but I only had four. And then I started to mark about three inches intervals. And then I sewed all the presters. So at this point, I'd sewed the presser on both edges. So there, I'm just indicating how I snap them shut in that little space at the bottom. And then I made four cover buttons. I also have a video on how to make these cover buttons. I'm going to share the video in the description box and comments so that you can check it out if you don't know how to make cover buttons. So you can either sew them or glue them on top of the part where you put the press studs. Then I just went on to close it like that. So that is basically it for the DIY. It was very simple and it takes very little time. So when I put it on, that is how it looks like and I'm really happy with the results. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. I really appreciate you stopping by today and I hope that you continue to support me and watch my other videos and share them and recommend me to your friends. I would really appreciate that. Have a nice day. Bye.